Yes. Wow. Okay, so the answer to number one, we already said that is true. Kwa hiyo, tumesema kwamba, swali namba moja, jibu ni kweli. The answer to number two is false. Jibu namba mbili ni nani? Number two, the answer Kila mtu asaisha ni nani yako wake? Is false. Pitia unasaisha ni nani yako wako mwenyewe, ila usifute. There's no way that you can ever become righteous in this life. You have to wait till you get to heaven. So which question? That's number two. Number two is false. false. There's no way that you can become righteous in this life. You have to wait till you get to heaven. Sio kwamba mtu utakuwa mwenye haki hapa duniani lazima usubiri mpaka siku utafika mbinguni ndio wewe mwenye haki hiyo ni sio kweli That is false Sio kweli You can't get to heaven unless you receive God's righteousness in this life Hawezi kwenda mbinguni mpaka uwe umepokea haki ukiwa hapa duniani And this is why I want you to know that verse Na ndio maana tunataka ujue ile andiko lile for God made Jesus to be sin who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in Christ. Mungu alimfanya Yesu kuwa mwenye dhambi asiyejua dhambi ili sisi tuweze kupata haki ya Mungu katika yeye Kristo. Number 3 is true. Swali la tatu ni kweli. Jesus came to this world as a lamb. Yesu alikuja hapa duniani kama mwana kondoo a perfect spotless lamb mwana kondoo asiye na mawaa and on the cross he became a serpent na pale msalabani akachukua umbo la nyoka because it was on the cross he was filled with our sin sababu alipokuwa pale msalabani alikuwa amejazwa amejawa na dhambi zetu he took our sin on the cross. The Bible says he became a serpent on the pole. That's good in John 3. Pale, eh, msalaba, pale, kama, eh, nyoka inuliwa, nyoka washaba, kama nyoka inuliwa, Number four. Swali number nine. The answer is true. Jibu ni, ni kweli. Jesus died physically. Yesu alikufa kimwili. And Jesus died spiritually. Na pia alikufa kiroho. And the spiritual death was even worse than the physical death. Na kwa kweli kifo cha kiroho kilikuwa ndio kibaya sana kuliko kifo cha kawaida cha kimwili. That's why he ended up in hell. Na ndio sababu aliishia kwenda alienda jehanamu, alienda kuzimu. Because he had our sin. Kwa sababu alikuwa na dhambi zetu. Remember he gave up his life and he took our sin. Kumbuka ali Aren't you glad he did that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number five. Jesus lived a sinless life. Jesus never sinned. That's true. Hallelujah. Jesus lived a sinless life. He never sinned. Amen. He's the only man that's ever lived without sinning. Number six. The cross. Please don't talk. The cross, cross represents the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Msalaba unawakilisha unawa unawakilisha au unasimama badala ya mti wa mema na mabaya The cross represents the tree of knowledge of good and evil in the Old Testament it was in the garden of Eden Unawakilisha ule mti wa mema na mabaya pale kule kwenye agano la kale And the answer to that is true Na jibu la hapo ni kweli Jesus died on that dead tree hallelujah Yesu alikufa kwenye ule mti he took the curse. Aren't you glad for that? Number seven. I pray that everybody answered true on this. No, that everybody answered false on this. Ah, <laughs> 
<laughs> I am still a sinner. Faults. Mimi bado ni mwenye dhambi. Toka sasa. Toka dhambi. Hapana, jibu ni si kweli. Toka. You are no longer a sinner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And remember I told you don't you ever let anybody tell you you're a sinner again. Nalikwambia usije ukaruhusu mtu yeyote asimame pale na kuzodoe zodoe. Oh kaone kana dhambi. Hapana. So the answer to number 7 is false. Hallelujah. Hayo jibu lake hapo ni si kweli. Number 8. Number 8. Please True. I am as righteous as God. Mimi ni mwenye haki kama alivyo Mungu. Remember we learned that because we have his righteousness. Kumbuka tulijifunza kwamba tunayo haki ya Mungu. Kwa hiyo jibu hapo ni ni kweli. So with his righteousness we are as righteous as him. Kwa hiyo kwa ile haki yake na sisi tuko wenye haki kama yeye. Number 9. Jib number 9. When Jesus gave up his life, Yesu alipotoa uhai wake, he was made sin with our sin. Alifanywa kuwa dhambi kwa dhambi zetu. When he gave up his life, he was made sin with our sin. Alipo eh alipo kwa alipo en come again. When Jesus gave up his perfect life. Remember, Jesus said I have the power to give my life up. And I have the power to take it back. So when he gave up his life or laid it down, he was made sin with our sin. But when he took it back, lakini alipochukua uhai wake tena the sin left dhambi zikaondoka and he resurrected na akafufuka and then we could get the righteousness na kwa hiyo tunaweza tukapata haki ya Mungu so that is true kwa hiyo hiyo jibu ni kweli number 10 swali namba 10 it is the sinner's nature to sin ni asili ni ni asili ya mwenye dhambi kufanya dhambi Are there any sinners here? Je, kuna wenye dhambi hapa? The answer is no. Jibu ni kwamba sio. You are not Siko. sinners, you are righteous. Wewe sio mwenye dhambi, wewe ni mwenye haki. So it's not your nature to sin, but it's the sinner's nature to sin. Kwa hiyo sio asili uh, yako kufanya dhambi, ila ni asili ya wenye dhambi kufanya dhambi. People that are not born again it's still their nature to sin. Wale ambao hawajaokoka ni asili yao kuendelea na dhambi. But when you're born again you're no longer a sinner you're a son of God. Unapookoka wewe si mwenye dhambi tena umekuwa mwana wa Mungu. A child of God a daughter of God. Mwana wa Mungu wa kike na wa kiume. So that DNA has changed. You have God's DNA in you. Kwa sababu vile vya damu vibadilika una una ile vinasaba vya Mungu. So your nature is to to live right. Kwa hiyo ni haki yetu sisi kuishi wenye haki. That's what's in your spirit. Hicho kimo ndani ya roho yako. Ni roho. So it is true it's the sinner's nature to sin. Kwa hiyo jibu ni ndio. Number 11. Swali eh, na, namba 11. God was not only Jesus father but also a judge. Mungu hakuwa tu baba wa Yesu lakini pia alikuwa hakimu wake. And on the cross and in hell na pale msalabani na kule kwenye kuzimu God as the judge was satisfied that the penalty of sin was paid Mungu, through Jesus. Kama hakimu aliridhika na malipo yaliyofanywa ya kulipia dhambi ambayo Yesu aliyafanya kupitia damu yake. And that is absolutely true. Jesus paid our debt of sin. Yesu alilipa gharama na deni la dhambi. 12:13:14 and 15 is all true, true, true if you listen to the class. Na 15 yote ni kweli, ni kweli, ni kweli. 12, 13, 14 13:14 na 15. 13:14 na 15 yote ni kweli kweli 
kweli. If you haven't done that, kama hujafanya hayo, you need to put faults there. Basi kama kweli wewe haujafanya vile. And then what I'm going to do, hapana ni si kweli. I'm going to give you a chance to take the test again. Na mimi nitakupa tena muda uende ukayasikilize masomo. But that alafu, will be after you listen to the classes. Alafu ufanye tena mtihani. Kwa hiyo uwe mwenye uwe mkweli. Maana masomo yote ni kweli kwa sababu unatakiwa sasa uwe umeshasikiliza ila kama hujasikiliza uwe mkweli. I Nandika want everybody to pass. Apana. Nataka kila mtu afani, afaulu haya masomo. But I don't want people just to come and take the test and then get a graduation later. Nastaki tu mtu aje tu hapa afanye mtihani alafu baadaye wakati tutakapofanya graduation u graduate tu hapana. Is that fair? Ni sawa hiyo jamani? All right. So if you've listened to all the classes put TTT kama uliandi ulisikiliza masomo yote unaponiangalia ni kama hujasikiliza kama umesikiliza yote andika ni kweli kama sio uwe mkweli sema hapana na uta, tukiona hapana utapewa nafasi ya kusikiliza tena ili upewe tena mtihani useme true number 16 swali namba 16 righteousness is the ability to stand before the presence of god without a sense of guilt or inferiority as if you had never sinned before haki ni uwezo wa, wa kusimama mbele za mungu bila hali ya kuhukumiwa au kuwa mnyonge na unasimama kama vile haujawahi kufanya dhambi kamwe mbele zake and the answer is jibu ni true hallelujah true aren't oh. you glad for that <laughs> kweli hallelujah je mnafurahi kupatia hiyo hey amen hallelujah number 17 Swali namba 17 When I am truly a believer in Christ my spirit does not sin Ninapokoka na kuwa Mkristo wa kweli katika Kristo roho yangu haifanyi dhambi I didn't say your body Sijasema mwili wako Remember we saw that verse in in 1 uh, John 3 Kumbuka tuliona ile katika eh, andiko katika waraka wa kwanza wa Yohana sura ya tatu where it says we cannot sin. Kwamba aliyezaliwa na Mungu hawezi kutenda dhambi kamwe. Your spirit never sins. Roho yako ukishaokoka haiwezi tena kufanya dhambi. Milele. As a believer, hallelujah. Ukiwa umeokoka. Isn't that great? Yes, ni sawa jamani kuishi maisha ya wokovu hayo. Thank you Jesus. Amen. Number 18. Swali namba 18. I always have relationship with God as my father but sometimes break have broken the fellowship. Kila mara nina uhusiano na baba yangu lakini kuna wakati navunja uhusiano huo. Remember how we talked about parents and kids? Kumbuka tulitoa mfano wa wazazi na watoto. We always have relationship with God but sometimes we don't always obey him. Kila mara tuna uhusiano mzuri na 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 baba lakini kuna wakati tunavunja hatutii. And when we don't obey him we break the fellowship. Na tunapovunja basi tuna tunapo tuna, tusipo uh, ti basi tunavunja uhusiano. And that's when we need to go and say Lord I'm sorry. Alipo tunaenda kwa Mungu tunasema baba nisamehe. Just like children. Kama vile watoto tu wanavyoenda kwa wazazi na wanasema baba nisamehe. And then come back into a flow of fellowship. Na pale pale unaendelea tena na uhusiano kama kawaida. So the answer to that is true. Kwa hiyo jibu hapo ni kweli. 19 and uh, Question 19 and 20. How many of you had memorized 2 Corinthians 5:21? Aya. <laughs> eh 19 eh 20 and 21. 2 Corinthians 5:21. How many of you have record? Mangapi jamani tuliwaambia mmemorize mwikariri hiyo. Wa Korinto wa pili sura ya tano na msari wa shina moja. Ni wangapi wa kweli ambao kweli waliikariri? Eyo. For okay. God made him to be sin for us. Mungu alimfanya kuwa dhambi who knew no sin. Ambaye hakujua dhambi wala kutenda dhambi that we might be made. Ili tufanywe the righteousness wenye haki of God. Wa Mungu in Christ. Katika Kristo. Amen. Amen. Nani ame memorize hiyo asimame? Somebody memorized Nani amememorize? 
How many of you had it memorized? Lift your hand. Wangapi? Moja? Mwingine? Mwingine yule? Wawili? Mwingine? Only two. Na wewe? Ulifuta? Ah, yo. He, he wrote and he deleted and he, he thought he's not the, 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 the one and then he, he cancelled. When you say right, he wrote and then he thought it is not the right, he deleted it. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? How many of you memorized it? I got it. Okay, let me ask you this. If I give you till the end of the week, before I leave, would you memorize it? If you do that, I'll let you write it down in our next test and you can add it to this one, okay? It's not a hard verse. For God made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Christ. Hey, he memorized it. Bishop memorized it. <laughs> Super. Super. Okay. So, in our next test, I want you to have a, have a paper, or, or we'll go ahead and give you a chance then to write it down, okay? All right. So, you can practice with each other, okay? 21. True. When God says no, it's not that he doesn't want us to have fun. But because he wants to protect us, and he has a better yes. Isn't that great? He wants the best for us. He wants the best for us. He really does. He wants the best for all of us. Number 22. The answer is true. With my righteous nature, I have the power to keep my body in order and resist sin. Remember, Paul said, I keep my body under. He's speaking from his power of righteousness. So that's true. Number 23. Jesus passed the temptation that Adam failed. He never sinned. That's what the wilderness was all about. When he was tempted in the wilderness, he went through the same type of temptation that Adam did in the beginning. Adam failed, Jesus. Adam alishindwa. He passed. Yesu akafaulu. Aren't you glad? Number 24 is true. We need to focus more. We need to focus on good things. We need to fill our mind with good things, with righteousness. So out with sin thinking and in with righteous thinking. And that's true. Number 25. That is true. Sinners go to hell because of sin nature, not sin action. 
kwa sababu ya asili ya dhambi na sio matendo ya dhambi people do not go to hell because of sin action they go to sin go to hell because of sin nature watu hawaendi jehanamu kwa sababu ya matendo ya dhambi ila wanaenda kwa sababu ya asili ya dhambi and that is true jibu ni ndio all right how did you do how many did good ah uh, good we got ah, some hands <laughs> how many of you going to memorize 2 Corinthians 5:21 wangapi wataenda ku kariri wa korinto wa pili sura 5 na mstari wa 21 Good. Ah, sana. All right. Sawa kabisa. You'll have it down by the next time we have the test. I think it'll probably be maybe Saturday. Sasa Jumamosi ndio tutatoa mtihani tena. And that test is going to be on faith. Utakuwa ni mtihani unaohusu masomo ya imani tuliyojifunza tangu wiki iliyopita mpaka wiki hii. How many of you have listened to all the classes? Wangapi mmesikiliza masomo yote ya somo la imani? If you listen to all the classes, lift your hand. Wangapi wamesikiliza? Mimi pia nimesikiliza in my office. I've heard in my office okay, I sit there I listen to all of the class. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop Charles has. <laughs> I have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Anyway, you want to make sure you cannot graduate from the school if you don't listen to all the classes. Sikiliza, kuna njisi tutafanya kujua mtu ambaye hajasikiliza yote. Kwa hiyo wale ambao hawajapata masomo yote hawajasikia hauta no, hauta graduate hatutakukubali wewe mwanafunzi ugraduate and there's no excuse we have all kinds of ways that you can hear the classes na hakuna eti cha mswalie mtume wala nabii kwa sababu kuna njia nyingi mpaka bluetooth mpaka flash disk ya kusikiliza haya masomo hakuna cha mswalie mtume oh mimi sikuweza kwa sababu kila njia zipo za kusikiliza hata unijifungie kanisani hapa sikiliza hapa kwenye kwenye nani njia ziko nyingi super I think he said what I was thinking. <laughs> and it's the same for you that are on the internet. And we want you to graduate. And we're trusting you to be truthful. You know, that's part of integrity. If you cheat on a test, what happens in the other things in life? And we want to do it right. And if we cheat on little things, it'll only keep working through our life and the big things it's part of character and I think you know that Bishop Charles and I are definitely for you and God's for you Na pia Mungu yupo kwa ajili yako. And we got the best class. And the best Bible school. Na shule nzuri sana ya Biblia. And the best students. Na hata wanafunzi bora sana. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for such a wonderful night. Baba tunakushukuru kwa usiku mwema huu. Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen.